to my channel, Betty's here. This is for you, Betty, this video. So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got another video for you today. I'm going to be doing, um, I'm making your own dog advent calendar at home with an egg box. So this is going to go hopefully well, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it in the shape of a Christmas tree. Don't know if you can see the numbers, but yeah basically like that so if you have a big egg box which is kind of hard to get you only have like a six pack or a 12 pack or a 15 pack of eggs um but my mum don't got a big one somewhere i don't know um so yeah we got this and i've like you can do whatever Christmassy shape you want it can just be like if you have an ice cube tray which can like be over 12 days of christmas or 24 like mine um you can even use that for your dog cat whatever but i do have a cat but i just know he wouldn't appreciate it i know betty wouldn't but my cat doesn't really have treats he just has his food bless him doesn't really have treats um but yeah i've got like a little pen and i've just gone in and right wrote all of the, the um, numbers in so yeah that's what you need an egg box your dog's favorite treats I don't know what these are called, but I think they're by pedigree. Pedigree, and my doggy Betty has got 24 days of Christmas. Betty, you can't just be hiding behind the table for your YouTube videos. So this is Betty. If you haven't met her already, I'm sure some of you have if you watched my channel before. And she's a Chihuahua called Jack Russell. And yeah, you need tin for your cellar tape and stuff like that. Um, she can get snuggly in this blanket she really just wants a treat <laughs> so guys i've marked all of them as i keep saying and uh, i need to go get my stand so you guys can see what i'm doing so before this video subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do like it hey guys so going down having a closer look this is what it looks like bitty you're so funny and we get the treats I accidentally left them near her and I reckon she has um, accidentally eaten one. <laughs> oh, Bet Bet, what are you doing? Um, so, door number one is here. Yep, they fit absolutely perfectly. Um, two, it's pretty easy, guys. Um, if you don't want to buy your dog one or just if you want to be creative, like me, but my mum just didn't want to, like, because some of them have chocolate in them and my mum just didn't buy those so I made my own just giving up asking her um, just because she doesn't think Betty needs one but it's my little baby and I think she needs one so yeah and if you have like 12 days of Christmas for door number 12 or door number 24 or number 25 whatever you're going up to you can have a special treat but she's just going to have the same one because she's only little pup she's not a puppy anymore but she's only a little girl so um she's not gonna have too many like she can't fit big ones in this egg box can you anyway so really oh it's in the shape of a christmas tree betty it's in the shape of a christmas tree she didn't eat any treats by the way so because they filled up the whole thing and do you want to lick the evidence no i kind of want a treat ma'am you want a treat? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll give you one in a minute. She's gone to go get the kitchen foil and she still hasn't touched the food she's been looking at me. <laughs> I can't deal with you, Betty. You're honestly too cute. Okay, right. <laughs> You're not meant to be watching, Betty. Okay, that'll about cover it. So we can cut it. I just got some super glue to stick down the foil because otherwise, how else are you meant to stick it down, you know? Um, and I'm gonna go over it with a pen. I don't know actually how I could do this. It's my first time and I've kind of just like estimated what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna do it this side because it looks like an easier side to write on. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know. It's so difficult in this music. Alexa. Turn the music down a little bit and I've cut off these little triangles like that were going to be here. Um just to kind of shape it into a Christmas tray. Um 
but yeah this is going to be a little bit difficult but the glue i'm using is this uhu power all-purpose glue and this is very sticky glue so betty mind mind yourself she's literally watching every move i take so i'm going to put some on these little things that are poking up hopefully this glue is going to come out oh my god but see this glue might smell strong and that might go in her tree i don't know see i'm going to come back and do it thoughts everyone glue well you can use glue but i just i don't know i don't really want betty to be breathing in when she's like or like her treats just taste like it so i'm saying i use a bit of sellotape so um yeah don't use glue i'm gonna like bunny loop them so how you do this is you get your sellotape sorry my nails absolutely awful I need to do them um but this is kind of last minute video and this wrap the sellotape around like that pop it on there and then when the foil okay it's not sticking okay i'm gonna come back and do all that and then hopefully the foil will stick okay <clears throat> So, um, I've put all the bunny loops on that and I thought I'd do the last one together. So what you do, you get this, fold it around and put that bit on there, like that. And then that's a bunny loop. So I'm just gonna pop that there. And do not, do not stick it down with your actual thing, fingertips. It's your nails so it doesn't stick back out to your thumb. So Betty's got the hump in her bed now because um, I didn't give her a treat, but I, I will to make her happy. And then I've got this tin wheel. I'm going to pop it on top and bye bye treats. Betty, do you not want to say goodbye to your little treats? And this is sticking absolutely amazingly. Oh, wow. So lovely need to fold it around a little bit and if you want to be like extra actually look it's just sticking down from where i put the bunny loops on oh Beth, you're gonna love your calendar just to make it extra secure like stuck stuck down good i'm just gonna put some on each side so it sticks much more better yeah betty this is your advent calendar darling I don't know whether they're going to stay or because um, I might just put, I'll show you what I mean because you might not know if they go stale. That little gap here, I'm just going to stick like two little balls of um, foil just to like stop them from going stale. Second thoughts, I thought cling film would puff it out more. So I do have a lot of thinking and then I say I'm going to do glue and then I end up doing um sellotape and then I'll... anyway let's stuff it in the hole i'm going to try to be very careful with this like that and then now that's going to be shut and just to keep it extra i'm going to pop this sellotape over the cling film and that is absolutely so sweet so i'll feel for the doors because you can feel the holes um so you will know which um door to name that label them and it's the shape of a christmas tree so you know where to start and then i'm gonna get this in there it's quite difficult because it's stuck down but yeah and then get another little bit of salad stick it down and now that's going to be so airtight i'll show you in like compared to the other side see that side is all shut and that side is open so i'm going to do the other side now started drawing circles and then i'm just going to do these last ones at the bottom with you guys yeah i know not the best circles in the world but i've tried i've done it and i'm just gonna like maybe i don't know how to make this at all Christmas, see? Eh? Um, because it definitely isn't. And I'm just gonna write down the numbers now, and they're not very Christmas tree like, but it's an advent calendar for a dog. I mean, how are they gonna know? But I'll try and make it as Christmassy as I can. But I'm just gonna write the door numbers. So this is door number one, 
I could actually mix and match because they're all the same treats. Yeah, I'll do that. So, number two, three. Hi, guys. So, this is little Betty's advent calendar calendar and that is basically all we have to do i don't know how to make a christmas ale, honestly uh let's try a little start yeah it's gonna have to be a silvery you know that kind of looks like a firework don't you think what about a little triangle oh my god that is not a good triangle color it in that is not good. What is this? What is this, guys? Please tell me, like... Okay, let's try again. A star. Yeah, that definitely is not a thing. Um, But we're just going to have to go with it. Because... Yeah. Can't do much else now. this is the best i have done and um, i've just been like scattering them everywhere like they're really not the best but um go try this at home do whatever ideas you want whatever style i've just kind of just gone for it and not really had like an idea in my brain so i just literally done this and you know whether you're like a person who wants to make things like really pretty like you're one of those tiny people but i i can be like that but i can also just go for it and just not worry and this is basically how i've done this and my calendar but yeah guys i really hope you lot enjoyed this video of me making betty's little foil advent calendar don't know how i'm gonna take a thumbnail now because you can't stand it up because treats will just go everywhere like go into other doors and stuff betty should we get your reaction darling not that you're gonna to react too much about an advent calendar right. <laughs> look at her little phone she, she can smell it Think. Do you like it? Get full reaction on camera. Do you like it? You loving it? Yeah, you can definitely smell it. You can't have this till December. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh darling. Have the blanket and go to sleep. We're gonna have nice Christmas presents and Christmas. Grumble. Little grumbler. Sorry, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I love you so much.